Alright guys, so this is the next step in my system. I got the aquaponics set up. See the auto siphon is just about to shut off actually. That's how it drains. Oh, yep. That's how it drains from the top. We got the bell siphon, the gravel guard, and under that is the stand pipe. I didn't actually create the pieces. I got these from a local guy who had a cool setup and he uh, let me come over to his place and check it out and it was awesome. And I uh, picked up some tips and tricks from him so then I was able to, I got the, the bell siphon from him. You don't actually have to have this, uh, this hose on there, you can just have a hole in the bottom there too, but this can help it just make sure that it breaks siphon. And this keeps the, the gravel that will be in here from uh, clogging up around it with roots and whatnot. He mentioned that having the slots in here prevents it from being clogged a lot easier than having holes, because individual holes can be clogged a lot easier than a big long slot like that. So that's where the water will drain. And then this is the uh, the pump down here, which pumps water. Part of the water goes out that tube there to aerate the water, and the rest of it will come in, comes into this bed, which will be filled with gravel. And this is where the plants will grow, and it just runs constantly. And then every time the water fills up here, drains out when it reaches the top of the stamp pipe, because it automatically starts siphoning, and then the cycle starts over again. This is made from uh, IBC totes. And one thing I figured out, which I should have thought of, but my method is just to start doing it and then make huge mistakes that require lots of work, is to make sure the thing is level before filling it up with the 250 gallons of water. Smart, huh? Yeah. So yeah, this is the, right now this system will probably just be the one grow bed for the fish tank, and then I'll get some experience with that, and I have some more of the containers over here. You see my junk filled yard, all my different projects. and. Uh, the plan for them is to make a system with uh, multiple grow beds where I'll probably have a sump because the way this um, particular system here works is that the water just for the, to fill the grow bed just comes directly out of the fish tank, which is fine when you only have one grow bed, but if you have multiple grow beds, the water coming being taken out of the fish tank is it's kind of a lot, so you can have the water level be going up and down quite dramatically, and uh, one way to combat that is to have the water come back into the fish tank, but then just overflow into a sump tank where it's being pumped out of. So the water level will be rising and falling in the sump tank, but it will be remaining steady in the fish tank. And that way you can have multiple grow beds of whatever size you want, and um, the water will still be, uh, water level will still be fine in the fish tank. And they um, usually normally stay to about one to one ratio of volume in terms of the fish tank to the grow bed. It's not anywhere near this. This is much less than one to one, and uh, so you could add more grow beds onto this if you want. So I probably I won't be able to put quite as many fish in this one as I would for a uh, system that had a one to one ratio. So this is just a, a nice one that I have running like this. For the next couple days I'm going to get the gravel to put in there. Then I'll probably plop a couple like feeder goldfish in here just to start the, the ammonia cycle and hopefully the. Uh, bacteria will start growing in the gravel to kind of kickstart the system before I buy some tilapia. And then once I make sure I got this system up and running, I'm going to go ahead and put the next one together. And I'll let you guys know how that's going the whole step of the way because this should be something I've wanted to do for a while. It's aquaponics setup, so I'm really excited to get it started. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on the progress. Let me know if any of you guys have uh, had any experience with aquaponics.